welcome to Sarah Stamping Retreat. Today we're going to be creating a selection of cards using basic shapes. And we're going to be creating them with the gorgeous kit that comes with this month's Chloe Creative Cards magazine box kit. As soon as I got sent this kit I really fell in love with it. It's really pretty. You've got these layering metal dies um, to create a flower and you can see you can layer them in different ways to create it to look slightly differently. Then you've got this really lovely embossing folder with the three flowers on it. You've got the stencil. I absolutely love this stamp set because it's got such beautiful floors and they're all kind of really dainty. Really, really pretty. And I love the font that all the sentiments are in as well. And then you've got this paper pack. So I'll quickly flick through the paper pack so you can see that what you get. And these paper packs are usually come in the middle of the magazine and obviously when you write you get the magazine as well which has huge amounts of ideas of what to do with the kit it's actually completely based around the kit so most of the projects in the magazine are created using the kit you can see this full of beautiful beautiful florals love this stripe as well it's just so like pretty in summary and then that's back to the beginning so you get two sheets of each so then for my first card I want to make up some flowers you can see I've made one already to show you what I want them to look like and I want three flowers so I've cut all, all three of these I've cut this one from this lighter pink and the other two from this darker pink which is um, melon mambo cardstock from Stampin' Up this one is pink sand cardstock from Spellbinders, and then you can see I've just cut these centres, so I've just kind of popped that on the edge of some cardstock. So I just cut the centre of that from the yellow cardstock. So I don't know if you can see, but I've made these centres really kind of fluffy, which I think looks really nice like pollen on there. So to do that, got my verse marking, and I'm going to press those into my verse marking. So then I've got this wow bonding powder that I'm going to pour over these and the bonding powder is like a glue that is only sticky when it's heated with your heat gun and then what I'm going to do is put some of this yellow flock over the top but I've got to wait until it's sticky to do that and like I said it's only sticky when it's hot so I'm going to heat these one at a time and pour some of the yellow flock over it so I'm just going to use the end of this paintbrush just to keep this in place so it doesn't fly everywhere so you can see that when this is melted it looks like um, clear embossing powder. So I'm just going to pour on a load of that and I'm just going to use my um, finger just to make sure that's nicely pressed into the glue. And you can see you get this really nice kind of fluffy effect then. It's almost a bit like felt. So you want to get it on literally as soon as you take the heat gun away. So it needs to be hot. However, if you miss your chance and it goes cold, you can heat it up again. So now I can trim the edges off there so that they become centres. So then you'll be able to see that two of these layers are kind of plain cardstock, but this middle one is glittery cardstock. And I actually made that myself. And to do that, I'm not bothered about the centre in here because obviously that's going to be covered by that. So I'm going to hold the centre and just make sure that these edges and the petals are covered with the verse mark. You can see I'm just using the end of the paintbrush just to make sure that the petals all get in there okay. And then I'm going to use this Pretty in Pink Wow Embossing Powder. I'm just going to pour that over the petals and see it's really pretty and glittery and then I'm just going to heat those up and you can see that on these it just turns that cardstock really pretty and glittery but we'll use it on white cardstock later and you can see then it really shows up as the nice pink then I'm going to use my glue to layer these up and I'm just going to layer them up using this kind of middle bit of the flower. 
everything the petals are loose and we can give them a bit of dimension and then I can add one of these centers that we made on the top as well and then I can just kind of mold the petals a little bit so that they're not all just flat and gives it a nice dimensional look then then I've got a 5x5 five five inch card blank and from this really pale pink card star. And then I've taken this heart die, which is from this layering heart die set from Close Creative Cards. So you can see it's this one here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the seventh one from the outside. And you can see it's a really nice set because it the biggest ones are big enough to make really quite big card fronts. It's eight by eight, the biggest ones. The smallest ones are nice for like tiny embellishments and then you've got everything in between as well. So for this I'm going to do a bit of partial die cutting. So I'm going to take this to the front of my card and then I'm going to do some partial die cutting. So I know a lot of people when they're doing partial die cutting line up the top edge with the crease but when I'm doing something like this I prefer to line it up with the bottom edge because it doesn't move as much. So I'm just lining up the line of the fold of my card to the edge of this cutting um, plate I'm actually going to tape it to the cutting plate as well so that it doesn't slip and then I can just pop that through my die cutting machine like this so now I can take these off and you can see that that's cut right up to this line but it hasn't cut through this side so then I've got this card that also opens like this. So then I'm going to cut this heart again from this paper here because I think that the flowers on there kind of reflect these flowers. But they're in this pretty colour. And then I want that to be the exact same size as this. So I'm going to hold it in place there. And then I can just trim it off down the side. And then I can use this window to make sure it goes in the right place. Then when we open up our heart, it's going to look like that inside. So I want to add a sentiment to that. So I'm going to use this happy birthday sentiment on the front. So I'm going to put with love on your special day inside. And I'm going to heat emboss both those sentiments in black embossing powder. And I'm going to be using this WOW Primary Ebony Super Fine Embossing Powder. And then while that's out, I'm going to do So I'm going to open this bit here And then I can use this as a template to put down my pattern paper on. I want to arrange these across here, so I'm going to pop these on like this. I'm going to pop those on like that, so I'm going to heat emboss these stems and do that in the black as well. I'm going to use black embossing powder for those two. Then I've got Aquilicious Marker from Altony and I don't want to put too much of this on because I don't want it to bleed through. See that's not bleeding through at the moment. That ties nicely to that colour inside the card. And you can see I've made a bit of a mistake there but I'm going to angle my flower so that, that covers that up. And then I can glue on these flowers. So then you've got this cute card that opens up with that with love on your special day inside. And I was kind of umming and ahhing as to whether to trim these off the side but I think I'm going to. So I'm just going to turn that over and trim them in line with the card. And there's our card done. Then for my next card I've got an A6 card blank so that is 5 and 7 eighths inches by 4 and an eighth inches. I'm going to use that happy birthday sentiment that we used for the last card just to 
stamp on here. And then I'm going to heat emboss this again with the black again. Because I really like how the kind of like glossy black contrasts with the colours in this pack. So let's heat that up. Then I've got a strip of black cardstock, the same width as my card. And I'm going to just add a couple of these strips of paper behind it. So I've just cut a load of strips like this. And I've cut a piece off and then I've just literally cut a tail in the bottom by cutting up the middle and then cutting into the middle because for me that's the easiest way to get these tails so that they look good. So I'm going to pop some glue along there and then I'm going to just put these along and then I've got this special day one that I've cut from the paper pack and I'm just going to add that to the front. Now I'm going to carry on adding some more to the back. Then that will go across there. So I can glue that on. And then I've got all of these pieces. These are all things that I've heat embossed in black and then coloured with my Altenew markers. So I've used the Pink Diamond, Pink Alicious and Rube Light from the Sunshine Valley Garden set. For the flowers and then I've used the Dewdrop to Aqualicious and Teal Cave from this water garden set for the leaves. And I'm going to glue down the leaves and I'm going to pop up the flowers on some foam pens. Now I'm going to decorate it with a few of these cherry blossom enamel dots. So then there's that card finished. So for my next card, I'm going to create a six inch black circle card blank. So I've got two of these six inch black circles and I'm just going to Cut one off at half an inch and then I'm going to flip that and line that up with this line here so that I know that when I'm scoring here, I'm scoring just over half an inch there. I know when I'm scoring that it's parallel to this because that's going to stop my card from falling over. So I'm going to glue that onto here. This is the other six inch circle. So then you can see we've got our card blank. And then I've cut a whole selection of these circles. So this one's going to go directly onto my card blank. So that's a quarter of an inch smaller than the card blank. And these are all just the papers that are in the pair. And then I've got two more sets. So this black piece is half an inch smaller than this pattern piece. And then the pattern piece is quarter of an inch smaller than the black. And again, the black is half an inch smaller than the pattern, and the pattern is quarter of an inch smaller than, than the black. So I'm going to layer these all up on the front of my card. And then I've got another black circle that's half an inch smaller than this one. And then this white circle is quarter of an inch smaller than that. And I've also got this flower, which I have stamped. That's from the stamp set. I've stamped and heat embossed that in black and coloured it in. So that'll go on there. And then I just want to add a sentiment. So I'm going to line that up in here. And then I'm going to use this thinking of you always sentiment. And obviously you could just stamp these in black if you don't have the black embossing powder. But I do really like the way that the embossing powder really gives it that extra bit of something, kind of raises it up, makes it shiny, really, really black. And I really like that. So 
then I can glue this to the black piece. And then I can add that to my card. And then I'm going to pop this piece up on some dimensionals. There's that really pretty card. So then for my next card, I've just used the embossing folder to emboss this piece of cardstock. And then I'm going to grab my... Melon Mambo ink and my brayer and I'm just going to ink up my brayer and then I'm going to really lightly run that across the top of my embossed image. So then you can see it looks a bit of a mess at the moment but we don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to add a bit of this Versamark ink refill onto my mat. And then I'm just going to paint in the petals with the first mark ink refill. And I'm going to do this one flower at a time. So I'm going to take some of this pretty and pink embossing powder. And I'm going to move on to the next one. You can get pens that have the kind of sticky ink in them. But I don't have one, so I'm doing it like this. But if you've got one of those pens, that might actually work even better for this. So then I'm going to cut out these flowers. So you can see now that we've cut off this kind of over inking, then the flowers are super pretty and really three dimensional. So then I've got here one of the tags that I've cut from the pack. I've actually backed it with some card to make it stronger as well, because obviously the paper pack is just paper. I'm going to put that like roughly in the middle of my card because I want to use the angles on here um, as like a guide so I'm kind of going to go like this so that I get the rough angle and then I'm just going to kind of draw a line along I'm going to do the same on the other side it doesn't need to be exact but I just want it to kind of reflect the shape of the tag then I'm going to cut those corners off so then I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to just draw around my card line because I want to make a mat Then I know that I can just cut an eighth of an inch inside of each of these lines to make it a quarter of an inch smaller. So then I'm going to glue this onto here. And then I've also created a white mat for my tag that I cut from the pack. So then I'm going to use this old Stampin' Up! hole punch to just punch a hole in the top of this tag and then also a hole through the top of the card. I'm only just going through the, the front, I'm not going through the back as well. So then I'm going to thread some of this black ribbon, it's just an unbranded black ribbon, through the hole and I'm going to tie a little bow. And I always try to tie my bows while they're still on the ribbon reel. And then you can kind of cut them off and know that you're not going to waste the ribbon. Now I'm going to do the same through the top of here. So then I'm going to glue our flowers to the front of my card and then I'm going to pop this one up on some foam pads. So 
And then I'm going to finish it off with some of these black enamel dots. These ones are from Pocket Full of Happiness. Then that's our tip tag card finished. So then for my final card, I've got a card blank made of this pale pink cardstock. This is from Paper Mail Direct. And I'm going to do the same with this tag. So it's another tag that I've cut from the pack. And I've just um, added some cardstock to the background. I'm going to punch that and add a bow just like I did on the last card. And then I want to stencil the front of the card. So I'm going to pop it in here. I'm going to hold it closed with a piece of tape. And then I'm going to kind of create a pattern across the whole of my card front. So I'm going to put this on an angle. And actually before I did that I should have just popped this over. And then I'm going to grab a bit of Versmark ink refill. And I'm going to dab in this kind of smoothie tool and then I'm going to dab that all over the front of the card through the stencil. So then I'm going to emboss this using white embossing powder. You can see all of that embossing has warped my card a little bit so I'm going to just pop that under a book just to flatten it out again just while I prepare the next couple of bits. So then I've got all these hearts that I cut with the die set that I showed you earlier, the layering hearts die set, the one that we used for the first card and I want to emboss those, heat emboss them so I'm going to press them all into my first mark pad. In fact, I'm just going to do the pink ones first and then I'll do these pale blue ones afterwards. So for the pink ones, I'm going to use this Pretty in Pink again, that I've used a few times already. And I can heat those up and use my scissors just to hold them in place. It's actually quite hard to see when this is melted, but if you have a look at this one next to this one, you can see that the glitter, or you can in real life anyway, um, see that the glitter is a lot more prominent. And then I'm going to do the same with these light blue ones, but I'm going to use this Lagoon Breeze embossing powder, which is another wow one. So then I've cut a circle out of black cardstock and I've cut three of these tabs like we used on the second card out of pattern paper from the pack. So I'm going to layer all these bits up. So then I've got a scrap of this pink cardstock and then I'm just going to heat emboss that same happy birthday sentiment we've used before in black. Then I'm going to cut that out. Then I'm going to glue this happy birthday down in the corner. And then I'm going to glue this circle just here. And then I can pop the tag up on foam pads.
and then I'm going to pop up these hearts. So I didn't end up using that bigger pink heart. I'm pleased with how that ended up. So that's that final card finished. So there are our final cards. And as you can see, we've just used the kit and some basic shapes. We've got um, different ways of using our circles here and in here. Um, we've used our hearts here and here. Um, we've cut swallowtails and tags and created some really pretty cards. So I really hope that you've enjoyed today's cards. Let me know which is your favourite in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate you clicking like below. And you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below. And you can also find a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.